Today we're going to be doing a rainbow activity that's inspired by one of my favorite books, My Color is Rainbow. We're going to be using markers, petroleum jelly, a Sharpie marker, glossy inkjet paper, bleeding tissue paper squares. You'll also need a cup of water and your paintbrush. In My Color is Rainbow, Little White Arch tries to decide what color is his favorite before understanding that he's actually all of the colors of the rainbow. We're going to create an artwork with our materials inspired by the cover art of this book. To get started, I want you to draw a face for your rainbow on your page. Your face can be very, very simple. I think that I'm just going to do some little circle eyes with like a little rainbow on top to give it a little more personality. I'm going to do a little sideways nose and a big smile. And my face is inspired by the cover image of the storybook. I decided to keep my face on the side of the page. You can make yours nice and big in the center. You can put anywhere on the page that you want and any size that you'd like as well. Next, I'm going to use my washable markers to create some shapes on my page. I'm not going to put them directly next to my face. I think I'll put them more on the side, kind of in the margins or the corners. I really like the organic shapes like the ovals. I think I'll use some orange. Maybe I'll do some more organic shapes like the ones um, that I saw on the book that were sort of like sea plants. Kind of remind me of Matisse. Kind of reaching upwards. I'll maybe use some purple over here to do some swirls. You can do as many or as little as you'd like, using as many colors as you'd like. But I would suggest, again, not necessarily putting your marker shapes near the face of your rainbow. Go do just a few more. Next, we need to do the shape of our rainbow. And we want the rainbow shape to go right into the face. And on the cover art, we have a clear rainbow so that you can really see all of the colors behind. So I'm going to use my petroleum jelly as a resist. I'm going to get just enough to put on my finger and I'm going to use my finger to create an arch shape. And again, I want to make sure that my petroleum jelly goes right on top of my rainbow face and I want it to go from end to end. You can make your rainbow small, you can make it large, but I want to try to make sure that it's pretty solid and I can kind of turn it in the light so that I can see the shape of my rainbow reflecting from the light. I'm just gonna clean my finger off on a paper towel. And then my next step is to add the bleeding tissue paper. So bleeding tissue paper, um, you have to purchase it and make sure that it is actually bleeding tissue paper and a lot of the tissue paper that we purchase for uh, wrapping paper, it's not bleeding tissue paper. So it's color fast, the color will stay on it. And the way that we can get the tissue paper to bleed its color is to add some water onto our paper. And then I'm going to place my bleeding tissue paper on top and add some more water on top of that. I'm going to pay attention to make sure that I am overlapping not only the bleeding tissue paper shapes, but also overlapping onto my rainbow arch. Now the, the oil and the petroleum jelly should be acting as a barrier so that the color cannot go through or penetrate it, but we will find out in this experiment. Your challenge is to cover as much of the paper as you can with your bleeding tissue paper. Once you've used all your bleeding tissue paper squares, you can start to remove them. Once you've removed all of your 
your tissue paper squares. You can use a paper towel to wipe off your petroleum jelly.